Hi guys and girls, Robin of Nottingham here uh, with a quick bow review video of my Beowulf flat bow from Joe Gibbs of Hillbilly Bows. I've been asked by a few people to do a review video of this bow, um, some close up shots of it and just a bit of a walk around of the bow so that's exactly what this video is going to be. Quite short, quite snappy um, and just the key features of this bow. So this bow is obviously a flat bow. It's a lot shorter than an English longbow, which would be taller than me. Um, it's fiberglass backed and bellied, so it's got glass both sides of the bow, which makes it very fast and very durable. The reason that I got into shooting these flat bows was because I was shooting English longbows or war bows, and as I was shooting them, I thought I was getting stronger, but actually I was taking the weight out of the bow by repetitively shooting it. Um, and actually the bow was getting lighter rather than me getting stronger. So rather than shooting out, as they say, my nice long bows, um, I got into shooting these flat bows as more of a training tool. They're great fun to shoot, they're very, very fast, and um, yeah, they won't get shot out like a long bow would. So yeah, that's how I kind of got into shooting the, the flat bows, and I think there's a lot of us English archers in this country who, who do turn to the flat bows as a training tool um, and then when the time's right get a nice long bow out and shoot it for the day but then put it away again so that it stays fresh for as long as possible so yeah so like i say fiberglass on both sides uh, a combination of laminates of wood i'll get some close-up shots of that now so as you can see nice brown fiberglass on both sides of the bow some black detail in the handle here also fiberglass I chose to have mine without a leather grip because I prefer the look and feel of a bow without the grip, but obviously that's a personal preference. Um, don't ask me what wooden laminates are in this bow because I genuinely don't know. I can find out from Joe and put that detail in the video description. Um, really nice antler overlays on the tips and obviously the string groove there and it's the same on the other end. Really nice detail on this bow. So yeah, so there you go. It's finished with oil. Again, that was my preference. Joe usually uh, clear lacquers his bows, but I preferred the, the finish of the oil. So it's not quite as pristine let's say as some of his bows um, because I preferred the kind of rough and ready oil finish don't ask why I just prefer it again it's a personal preference no grip oil finish and uh, and yeah there we go that's the kind of main detail of the bow so what I'll do now is I'll get it strung and um, send a few hours out of it with these bows, I use a, a stringer which has leather, little leather pouches on each end and they can go slide over the end of the limbs, like so. And then obviously standing on the string of the stringer and pulling it tight means you can slide the string up into that groove. So that's how the stringer works, that's simple. That's what I use for these flat bows. So, stringing it. One of the uh, pouches on the stringer is slightly bigger than the other. So I'll put the bigger end on the end which the string is on. Put the smaller end on the top knot. Stand on it. Tension in the bow. And then just as I pull the bow, slide the string up and into the top knot. And there you go. So that's the bow strung. That easy. So now the bow's strung, I thought I'd just take a quick bit of footage of the bow with the string in the knocks. As you can see, fits perfectly in the groove. There you go.
perfect. Right, I'll get some arrows off it and you can see it in action. So, shooting it. Um, this bow is 115 pounds at 32 inches. Um, I'm shooting three wooden blunts that are quite heavy that I've made for this specific purpose, shooting closer to net. Um, there's another video on my channel reviewing these blunts and the beautiful hand-painted wooden heads made by my friend Nick Keogh. Um, big fletchings, heavy shafts, they weigh about 75 grams-ish per arrow um, and obviously 32 inches long so that I can get the full 115 pounds draw weight out of the bow. So, shooting it. Very fast, lots of energy. And even these big heavy arrows with big fletchings really do come out of this boat very quickly. So I'm just shooting at a net down the garden. And I have nothing behind my garden other than trees. So all safe and sound. Put my uh, toggle in that one. So yeah, as you can see, very quick bow, um, real pleasure to shoot. And obviously they come in a variety of different draw weights and draw lengths to suit your requirements. So yeah, if you're interested in getting one, uh, I've got two of these. My other one's 135 pounds, which I'm almost on top of now due to the last couple of years and COVID and all the kind of excuses that I can think of. I've dropped off the weight a bit in terms of draw weight. So I'm almost back on top of the 135 pounds at 32 inches, but this is a nice bow that I can just pick up and shoot all day comfortably. It's really quick. And like I say, it means that my nice long bows don't get shot out and I can practice all day long with this. And I know that every time I pick it up, it's going to be 115 pounds at 32 inches and that won't change. So yeah, do check out the other videos on my channel. There's lots of videos of me shooting this, long range, short range at nets, um, and you'll see this bow. I only have two Beowulf flat bows from Joe. One's brown, this one, and the black one is the 135 pound, which I do shoot in a few of the videos too. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, do check out my other videos, like I've said, and um, get in touch with Joe if you're interested in buying one of his bows. All right, thanks guys and girls. See you soon.